Okay, guys, so as you can see, that here is a look at the box. Um, on the front, on the front, it says Circuit Maze, uh, Electric Current Lock Game, or Logic Game, not Lock Game. It's made by ThinkFun, which is the same company that made uh, Laser Maze. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, I'll probably throw it in the link, the link in the description or something. I don't know yet, but, um, anyways, so it says that, and then it says, complete the circuit to light up the beacon, to light the beacons, and you win. Ignite your mind. And then 60 beginner to expert challenges. And then on the sides and stuff, it just says, it's, it basically says the same stuff, but it doesn't actually show you the thing. It said, it says complete the circuit to light the beacons and you win. Ages eight to adults, so it has a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more to it, which you're about to see. And then, yeah, ages eight to adult, single player, and then so on and so forth. And then on the back, it kind of gives you a description of, you know, it kind of gives you a description on how the game works, what you'll have to do. And then it also, um, it kind of tells you, like, the stuff that you get in the box. So let's not waste any time and let's get this thing open. Come on, work with me here, box. Um, got a bunch of other cool videos in, uh, planned too, so you're gonna want to stay tuned for that. Um, so, on the inside of the box, you're gonna get your game board. Uh, you're gonna get this little, um, what is this, like a booklet. Your game board, right here. You get the, kind of, the instruction booklet right here. Uh, it also comes with your pieces, which one of them is loose right now, but they essentially, you essentially just store them all into this little spot. You get, you get 10 different pieces in this side, and then you're also going to get your main unit, which is the, uh, the negative block, and then your actual starting contraption, which is all... It's all one piece, um, which I kind of wish it wasn't in one piece. Uh, but I guess in order for this to work, it kind of has to make sense. But um, yeah, that way you can just unplug the thing when you're done and you don't have to worry about it breaking. So there's that. And then you're also going to get your playing cards right here. I'll show you guys those in a minute. And then you're also going to get more pieces right here so we're gonna go ahead and we'll take out the tray i'll take out the tray for right now um and uh yeah so let's let me bring out the board for you guys so here it is it's uh it's a five by five it's a five by five style uh or, Five by five grid, or is it six? I, I don't know. Yeah, five by five grid, and it's kind of like this hollow piece of plastic. Which, not to to be rude, but it kind of looks like something that you could easily three D print. You'll just need to get these little rubber things, which can prevent it from moving on uh like on smooth surfaces and stuff. But yeah, that's the that's the one thing that. That's another thing, too, was, like, I kind of wish this was a little bit solid. Um, but nonetheless, though, still pretty cool. And, yeah, all your pieces are going to go into this game board here. Um, so, essentially, the way this game works is you have your beacon pieces. Let me put them out. So these are your beacon pieces right here. You have a yellow piece, 
a straight one, you have a red one, and then you'll also have a green. So the goal is to light these guys up depending on how much on uh, the ones that you're going to need. Um, and also depending on what the, the card tells you. Speaking of which, here is a look at the playing cards. I'll, I'll probably do a little game for you guys. The first level, just so y'all can see. But you get... You get a couple of these little... These little uh, guide cards right here that tell you the pieces that you get. And what they do. As well as this little... As uh, the switch token, another uh, and other stuff like that. So not not super duper important. And then it has on the front you have this little slip of paper, just telling you about the company and all that. And then your cards, which. These these are more of a horizontal, while the laser maze ones are kind of, they're this way. They also do come with solutions in the back, but I don't want you guys to use this video to cheat, especially after me just showing you. But anyways, so it shows you in the challenge, which you're supposed to light up the yellow target. It tells you, um, this at the grid tells you the pieces you'll need and... If so, how many? And it shows you where to put the starting pieces on the board. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. Um, so we'll show you. So in this case, we're going to need the yellow piece. And it shows you where to put it. So in this case, we want the yellow. We want the positive and negative facing this way. And we're going to place it on our board. Now, another thing too to keep in mind is that these things, they also have a tendency to come off fairly easily. So it would have been nice if they could snap in. Otherwise, it's not too bad. You're gonna need your main un unit as well, which this thing takes three AAA batteries. So if you're gonna use this, you're gonna you're gonna need three AAA batteries that which are unfortunately not included. So you're gonna take this unit, snap it into place, and then you're gonna need one straight piece because that yellow one's also a straight so then you're gonna do this and now you're gonna need the final the end goal right here or the the other the negative section and then the two turns which you have to figure out where they're gonna go so for instance We'll grab two of these curved pieces. It's up to us to figure out where each piece is. So, for example, if we put that here, is that going to work? No. How about, what about right here? Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. These things do not, they don't work very well in, in place, but you, you pretty much... You just play around with it until you get the right connection. See, like we can we can't do this either because it needs to have a full thing. But what if we put it here? Okay, how about this piece? Let's see. Let's put this here. No, and this is the first level. But I'm just kind of giving you guys an example of what you would do. No. No. Close. Boom. Yep, got it. And then you kind of do the same thing here. Okay, this is the one. And once you put this in, you should see it light up. Just like that. And you win. So that's how you'll know when you win the, the challenges. You, you will see this little yellow beacon. Or you'll see one of these beacons light up. So, yeah, that means we beat the level. And then if you want to, you can check your work after... Just don't, just don't cheat. So here's how, here's how that works. Boom. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty basic demo of how this game works. Um, let, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, 
don't forget to like and subscribe to it. like and subscribe and also do stay tuned because i i do have plans to re remake a classic video involving the nintendo switch i'm not gonna say much i'm not, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell you much but you're gonna have to stay tuned because it is gonna be pretty good um so once again you're gonna have to stay tuned for that and uh, with that thank you all for watching peace what is up gamers it's gamer team and welcome back to a new episode